Hello, everybody. Brandon Kennedy, Kennedy Financial Group. Uh, I wanted to welcome you today as we close out 2023, the first quarter, and just acknowledge that it's been an extremely challenging last 15 months or so. A lot of fear and uncertainty in the marketplace, uh, and just a lot of challenges that uh, make us second guess our belief system as a long term investor. So we're excited to launch today being the kickoff uh, our video series called Perspective, Not Predictions. And it's exactly what it sounds like. We're not trying to make any predictions about where markets are going to go, but we want to give you some actionable tools and hopefully a little bit of peace of mind and perspective on some of the things that are going to be out there that we just need to let filter through and make good sense of. Uh, and, and again, give a little bit more confidence and conviction around our financial plan and perspective on uh, what you, we should be doing, if anything, in this current environment. So with that said, the first kickoff video what we wanted to do is go over three uh, probable predictions that you're going to hear uh, in front of you over the coming weeks and months and give you some perspective on how to navigate those. So let's jump right in. Uh, number one is short term performance predictions. You're going to hear this from day traders on CNBC or blog writers, and they're going to tell you exactly what to do over the next day or week, or maybe they go out months. Um, but they are going to focus with certainty on what you should do to make money or avoid losing money uh, in this current environment. And the right perspective to have for your investment portfolio is not day trading. It is having the right time horizon and um, you know, risk tolerance for exactly your unique needs. And you should be focusing on not the next 10% advance or 10% decline over the coming months. We have no control or way to predict that, but how your portfolio is positioned to meet your goals and get these really large advances that grow our money over time uh, and help us meet our goals. Not are we uh, striking while the iron's hot or sidestepping a market decline, those are impossible things to predict and actually do with consistency. So prediction number two is economic predictions. Uh, if you ask a hundred economists uh, what they think of the current environment, you're going to get a hundred different answers. And the reason is they're going to come from different angles or interpret different data, uh, but they're going to talk about things like interest rates and inflation and economic cycles and the R word, right, the recession. And you're gonna hear certainly different perspectives on, you know, for the recession, how long are we gonna be in a recession? Are we gonna even be in one? Uh, is it gonna be a soft landing? All these things, um, you know, are interest rates gonna to continue to rise? Are they gonna fall later this year? Those are all just guesses and predictions. And the right perspective to have for that is that a long-term plan is gonna be designed to deal with all of these things, rising and falling interest rates, various recessions. You know, a 30-year retirement, you should expect to see four or five, maybe six recessions. You can't sidestep them. They need to be part of our plan. And we need to remember that these are just words that describe normal and expected market and business cycles. And that's all they are. And they're gonna be part of our plan. And we just need to be able to navigate around those. So not getting into predicting what's going to happen and what should we do. That's a very dangerous thing to do. Uh, last one, number three, and this is probably the scariest one, and this is my prediction. Uh, and I've been doing this 20 years. I'm very confident you are gonna start to see the product salesmen come out of the woodwork. And they're gonna start putting up billboards. If you haven't seen them already, you're gonna be invited to dinner seminars and they're gonna give you a sales pitch that tells you about the perfect investment that gets all the upside of the market and has none of the risks. And the right perspective to have on these things, while they can be tempting, is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. There is no magic pill that's the perfect investment that you should put all your money in. Uh, what I would suggest is if you want to learn more about these things, or if you've heard some of these things, reach out to us. We can represent and get information on any investment that's out there. Um, you know, and a lot of these things are insurance or annuities or banking products. And what we'll do is spend some time giving you the facts, not the sales pitch, and then helping you make a good decision on are these investment products the right fit for your unique situation. So there's three predictions, hopefully a little bit of, per, of perspective on how to navigate some things that are going to be in front of you in this environment. 
Um, and it's a good kickoff and, you know, for some of the upcoming videos that are going to be around the stock and bond market, around inflation, around interest rates and how that impacts your plan. And we're going to make it in short, digestible videos that should give you, it's a really our hope, some actionable things that you might be able to incorporate into your plan or maybe just some peace of mind to stick to your current long-term plan because you have a little bit more perspective. So keep an eye out, Perspective Not Predictions, uh, our video series. In the meantime, focus on what you can control, on what matters most, uh, but appreciate your time listening today and look forward to talking with you soon.